YouTube. Okay, so I'm going to make you a video today on the way fuels burn. I have these really cool little uh, Zippo hand warmers that has a little mantle in here and it just glows and, and it, it keeps your hand hot. This is nice and hot to the touch. So it's cold out here today. It's a winter night and uh, winter evening and this is what we're doing. However, these fuels are designed to be ran with a fuel like these, but this is $105 per gallon. Okay, so I want to test to see if there's other fuels we can use. So let me show you my little setup, what we're doing here. Okay, so what we're doing over here is I have eight ounces of kerosene, gasoline. This is um, uh, lacquer thinner. You have barbecue charcoal fluid and this. And what we're going to do is we're going to soak up the fuel in every one of these. Okay. And then we're going to burn it and we're going to see the difference on the way uh, it burns. And I'm just taking a regular uh, paper towel. I'm just going to soak it up just as kind of like a, the wick, if you will. And um, let me finish getting things all set up and I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, so everything's all ready to go. All my uh, tests are ready to go. We're going to go ahead and move these fuels so it's not dangerous, just in case things go crazy for some reason. But just to let you know, I just wanted you to see how these things all were working, okay? So now we're going to light all these things up and we're going to see which one burns fastest, how fast they burn, how high the flame is, and all that, okay? So here we go. All right, so let me borrow that there. So now we're seeing the difference between these. Again, the end is kerosene, then we have the charcoal fluid, then we have the lacquer fluid, and then that is the gasoline and then kerosene. So we want to try to find one of these fuels that are similar to, let me split these out a little bit so that way we have a little bit more clearness because it's just one big flame at this point. Ah, my screwdriver's getting stuck. Okay. Because ah, I was burning them in this little cup. The cups are getting sticky. Oh, I can't get the thing off now. Okay, there it goes. So, that's what we're burning. Just see the difference here. Um, I am saying the big difference here is the lacquer fluid is smaller. And it looks to me like the lighter fluid is probably the highest. Next is the charcoal fluid. But gasoline and kerosene are about the same. So if I get down low, you can kind of see the distance of the flames. It almost looks like the charcoal fluid is flaming out the best, doesn't it? What do you think, Dave? I think the lighter fluid works the best. Yeah? This is my partner over here. He doesn't like being on video, so... <laughs> He's my partner in crime. Okay, so these are probably going to burn for about 10 minutes or so. So it's getting really smoky in this garage. I think I'm going to move it outside. I'm going to pause it while I do that. Okay, it's been about a minute and a half or so. And now I'm outside. And again, this over here is a lighter fluid. See how it's almost out? The kerosene is still burning like crazy, burning slow. And remember, this was um, 9 ounces of kerosene or 9 ounces of each fluid. So that's what I'm saying. Kerosene is out. Or, I'm sorry, the lighter fluid is gone. So that's going to be the fastest burning. So this here, in order to keep the heat in it, it needs to burn kind of fast. So if you're not familiar with these, there's like it just evaporates the fuel inside of this little mantle here. I don't know if you can see it. You certainly can't uh, see the flame. But when it's dark, this actually glows red inside of there. It just smolders is what happens. So that's what I'm actually looking for there. Oops, I just dropped it. Let me get that there. Okay. Let's see. Looks like the charcoal lighter fluid is out and just the plastic is burning now. Okay. And gasoline is getting close. Gasoline is now out. Okay. That kerosene burns for a while, doesn't it? Wow. So out of these, so now we're at four and a half minutes. All right, come on. You ever gonna go out? So this one's still going right now. But it's actually out in the wind too. So okay, it that just went out. The flame just died. Now that's why it's smoking. So now we're going to go and see how much longer the kerosene lasts for. 
kerosene and gasoline are, I thought were similar, but definitely the kerosene burns a lot slower, a lot more controlled. It's more of an oil than a fuel, I think. My neighbor just pulled up. Hello, neighbor. Sorry. <laughs> I'm doing a test on different fuels. Oh. Kerosene is still burning. All the other ones went out in about three and a half minutes on my video, but I did pause it for about a minute and a half. Okay, well, this is becoming a boring video. <laughs> Jeez, that just won't go out. It's getting close, though. I think that's just the plastic burning at this point. Yeah, that's just the plastic. I was going to say it's just about out. Okay, so, um, so anyways, now that we're here and you've done this test, it looks to me like the kerosene and the charcoal fluid is pretty close to the same uh, burn ratio, but maybe a 20% difference. I'm going to have to crunch the numbers to figure out what that actually is. So that's it for now, YouTube. Take care.